My next guest is going to be back on Contender Series coming up here on August 18th. It is Victor Reina joining me here on the program. Victor, how's it going, man? It's going well, man. It's going well. I just got, uh, got done some road work, and now I'm just kind of hanging out in the backyard. Well, I appreciate you having me part of this uh, hangout time here, and uh, congrats on uh, getting another shot on Contender Series. When did you find out about this? Because I know a lot of fighters uh, knew about it a while ago, and then COVID obviously came and postponed things. Were you one of those people, or did you find this out sooner? I, I found out sooner. I think I found out maybe about a month ago. That, uh, my manager hit me up and told me about the possibility, so I just started getting ready right then and there. So it's, it's, I've heard about it for a while, but been getting ready. Was this something you were expecting after getting that last win? Was this always the plan to go back on Contender Series, or were you looking to maybe get a short notice opportunity? What was sort of the process after the last time you fought in Contender Series? Uh, after the after the last one, I wanted to get a win under my belt. I got a fight um, sh- shortly after it. Um, I was I was hoping, I wasn't expecting, but I was really hoping that I could get another chance on there because I, I felt like, even though I lost the fight, that I put on a good show. So, um, you know, I was just just staying ready because I, I I hoped didn't expect but I was just really hoping that I can get that uh, that, uh, that second chance and I'm, I'm glad it worked out the way it did so and and I, I know I know it's only one fight but what do you feel like you've improved on since the last time we saw you on contender series is there anything you can pinpoint or just think overall you've improved every area overall I, I just I just stayed I stayed on point I stayed sharp I didn't I didn't lay off the mat um like I had before my last opportunity um I I've, I've just been staying on top of my training, getting a lot of good work in, striking wise, wrestling wise, kind of balancing everything out um, better than I have in the past, or better than I, than I have in the recent past. So I've just, I've just kind of like just put it all together lately. So it's been working out. And, and obviously, we're dealing with with COVID nineteen and, and all this stuff that's happened. How has that impacted your training over the last couple of months? Are things kind of back to normal, or has it been pretty limited? It, it's kind of lim- uh, you know what it's, it's normal, like so, but so, yeah. Because some people are are like not. There's some people that aren't training. Some some gyms aren't opening up, so it's kind of hard to get everybody to collectively meet up. But um, but we've made it work, man. Like I, I've got some great coaches I've been working with. I got the great uh, some great teammates I've been working with, and we've all just really you know rallied at this point. So it's it's worked out really good. And, and you mentioned about finding this out a little bit later. Like, did you feel like you were gonna have a fight around this time? Like, would you say you've had a pretty adequate camp heading into this? Uh, camp wise, yes. I did. I didn't honestly because of the whole COVID thing. I did not expect to for anything to pop up. I was just really hoping for it, but I, I didn't expect it to happen, but I'm, I'm glad it did. Let's talk about your opponent here. Uh, Lewis uh, Koski is uh, six and zero. Oh. What do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him here? Uh, I know he's, he's, um, he's a strong opponent. Uh, he's got some, from what I've seen, got some really strong wrestling, some p- really powerful striking. Um, what I can say, you know, I think I, 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 I can kind of say that I can, I got more experience on him. So I think uh, me being, me having been in the cage as much as I have, that I can, you know, I can fight my way around his strengths, you know, and, and maybe and implement mine. So I think it'll be a tough fight. He's a tough opponent. He's a young kid who's got uh, who's got a really strong head on him. But uh, I can work around that, you know. And, and I'm sure you were once undefeated in, in your career as well. Like, how much pressure do you think is on him not only to, you know, keep that going, but also he's got to get the contract, like, uh, and, and, and the fact that you've already been on Contender Series, he hasn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Who knows how he's handling? It. Uh, he might have some pressure on him. He might just treat treat this like another fight. We'll see. We'll see. Come fight night. Who have you been training with as far as uh, bodies in the gym? Who have you been getting to work with? I, I there's some guys that uh, with I'm, I'm with my striking coach Stephen Wright. He's got a lot of guys there that who have been, who have been helping me out. Um, and then my wrestling coach is down in in Arlington, a couple like 40 minutes from here. Um, a lot of a lot of good a lot of good young wrestlers have been kicking my ass lately, and it's 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 not fun. But it's it's been great. It's been very beneficial. So I'm just very I'm very appreciative to all of them helping me out. Who are some names? And the reason I ask is because like you know we we're doing this interview now, but I'm sure these are some names we could be hearing about in a few years as far as some up and comers. So if there's anyone in particular that you want to give a shout out to that you've been working with, is there anyone that comes to mind? Uh, let's see. Lately, I've, I did some work before his file. We're doing a little bit of work with uh, with Razak Al Hassan, um, one of the teammates at Warm Room. Uh, Ty has been helping me out. Uh, Ty uh, Ty Clark. Um, well, because uh, young wrestler down in uh, at the, in Arlington, his name his name is Austin, phenomenal wrestler, young kid, twenty years old. If he if he gets if he gets a mixed game, he's gonna be a problem for guys in the future. Um, and let's see, it's about it's about all I can list right now. I was gonna say that that those are two really good names there as well. Uh, you know, with Rezek Al Hassan, he's one of the you know hardest hitters. Uh, you know, how much confidence does it, does that give you getting to work with a guy like him heading into a fight like this? I mean, we're talking about a, a mainstay in the UFC's welterweight division. Uh, it's, it's good. It's good, man. It helps. It's, it's good. Definitely. Uh, it's a confidence booster, but you know, 
Yeah, fight to fight. So we'll see how it goes. Yes, as they say, once the cage door closes, everything changes. Um, how's the weight cut going ahead of this fight, uh, getting down to 170? Uh, weight cut's going great. It's on point. I'm lower than I have been in the past when I make 70. So I'm good. Like the weight, right, the weight right now is an issue. Oh, I was going to say anything different for this this weight cut, or has it been pretty much the same thing you, you normally do? Uh, the same thing normally. The only problem, the only thing different is I didn't get fat this time in between uh, in between camps. Okay, so what what are you what are you really missing right now that you can't eat? Because I know I'm sure all of us we have our you know our vices when it comes to food. What's something you're going to eat right after the fight? A pizza, a giant pizza with a lot of cheese on it. Yeah. Now, oh, mom, or- mom and pop place, or do you go to like a specific chain? Anywhere, if it's nearby, if it's with, if it, if I can walk to it, I'm gonna go eat it. Or if they deliver, I'll eat it. I don't care. Pizza. And, and you mentioned Stephen Wright. I imagine he'll be in your corner. Who else is gonna be making the trip down there with you? My other training partner, my other friend, training partner, Justin Patterson. We, uh, we, well, hey, he's another another guy who's been helping me out lately. Justin Patterson. We uh, did some wrestling last week, and we just he's been one of my long-standing teammates that I've had for pretty much my whole career. So he's been there since day one. Fought in, uh, he fought in Bellator, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he has he has some fights in Bellator. He's another guy that they, they he's got a lot of people he's beaten that are in the UFC, and I don't know why he's not in there. He needs to be in there. Okay. So there you go. There's an endorsement. That's I, I, like, I like that for sure. Um, how do you see the fight playing out on August 18th? I mean, you feel like you're going to get your hand raised, but how do you envision the fight playing out? Uh, I feel I'm going to have to you know weather him off a little bit. He's a, like I said, he's a strong kid. Comes in very heavy. Um, I got to weather that storm and then implement my game. You know, I got to. I might, I might have to slow, slow the fight down a little bit more to have it work to my advantage and, you know, capitalize off any mistakes he makes. So I, I can see I see myself definitely getting coming out with the win. But, you know, it's a fight. thing can happen. But I'm going to do what I do. Is there any more urgency? And I know you're, you're always looking for the finish. I mean, no one wants to go and get, you know, you get paid the same amount, whether you go three rounds or you go, you know, one round or whatever. But is there a little bit more urgency just with what happened last time, like to go out there and try and get the finish? Because not only does that look good in getting the contract, but also I'm sure you don't want it to hit the judges' scorecards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I, I mean, I, I, every, every fight I go in there, I don't want to I don't want to spend 15 minutes in there. Cool, but you no, know, I want to get the finish. I want to get the knockout, make it entertaining for everybody and uh, impress the man, Dana. You've had a great career on the regional scene. I mean, eleven and four record—that's that's an outstanding record that you don't just see too often. What would it mean to you to get the contract after all these years of putting in the time? Uh, it, it, it's like it's like the beginning of where I wanted to be. Like I got I got into this, you know, I, I didn't have a whole lot of aspirations of where I would want to go until in the last few years. I know I I I, I put in the time, I put in the effort, all the hours, sweat. Like that is where I where I belong. I belong. I want to fight the best guys test myself against them and, you know, put some hands on. Absolutely. Okay. We talked all about fighting. What about downtime? What do, what do you do outside the cage as far as like hobbies? I don't know if you have a day job. Like what, what are you doing outside the cage aside from fighting? Uh, you know, I, I, I work some one-on-ones with people, you know, working with striking fitness wise. Uh, otherwise I'm just hanging out in my backyard, going hiking, spending time with my dog who's around here somewhere, uh, hanging out with my, with my family. You know, I, I, I don't do a whole lot. I just, I'm either running working out in the gym or I'm, you know, doing projects with somebody. That's about it. You strike me as you say outdoors. Like, do you go camping and things like that? Uh, we planned on it. We haven't gone this year, but I would like to after, after this fight. See yeah, if I can get it. I just got back from a camping trip this weekend. I love going outdoors. Like, I live up in Canada, so it's uh, it's always really nice. I live up uh, near Vancouver, so it's it's cool to just get out there and kind of take your mind off stuff. But uh, you mentioned the outdoors. The reason I mentioned is because, you know, for a fighter especially, like, you need that kind of break in between everything else, right? Because it can get a bit monotonous. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. I like, I, I just, I love being outdoors, out in the, out in the nature. I, I grew up in the city, but I've kind of developed into, like, an outdoors. I don't like being around a lot of people. I'd rather just be like, you know, out in the, in the wild somewhere by myself. I love it. Okay, that's good. Um, and then last question: uh, Any watching any cool TV shows right now, or playing any video games, anything like that? Uh, I'm always playing Super Smash Brothers. Oh, awesome. Okay. I, I still got to get that. I just got to switch like a couple months ago. I'm like totally behind on it, but I played Smash Brothers and it's, it's amazing. So who's your, who's your favorite character? Uh, Little Mac. Oh, nice. Okay. I love how they brought back the old, like I'm an old school, like I'm older. So I, you know, so seeing all those like older characters like Metroid and all these other ones, it's like, it's so awesome that they were able to like incorporate that. Cause that brings like the, the new kids, like they can kind of learn a bit of the history. And for us, like it's, it's cool to go back and, you know, play some of those older characters, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. I, I, I stick to Lil Mac. He's the boxer, obviously, the, the head buster, so that's who I play with. Are you the best Super Smash Brothers player on your team? Uh, probably not. There's a kid uh, who plays with us whose nickname is JoJo. He kicks all of our ass, but yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to him. 
Well, we're looking forward to you kicking some ass here on Contender Series. Uh, Victor, it was great getting a chance to talk to you, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you got any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours, man. Uh, well, I'm on Instagram, uh, uh, Vic underscore Bad Dog MMA. Um, and I want to shout out to Urban Tattoo. They're one of my long time, long time sponsors. Uh, my coach, Stephen Wright, uh, my other coach, Brandon Crick, all my training partners at War Room and at the gym. Uh, junkyard, Dogs, junkyard Dogs Fight Team. Um, who else? I'm Kirk Edmondson at um, it's my CBD my CBD sponsor. I'm missing one. I'm missing another one. Mike Bailey, who is a, the muscle mechanic. Uh, if you got any kinks problems around the area, he'll help take care of that. And uh, so far, that's all I got. 